Hey YouTube, KOF15 is finally out, and one of the most common questions I get is, this character easy or hard to learn? So in order to figure this out, let's rank every character. And the way I do this, I strictly base it on skill floor, or how easy it is to be competent with a character when you're first starting out. So some of the main things I'm looking for are how easy and intuitive their game plan is to execute, how easy it is to determine their game plan, and how easy the execution is for that character. Disclaimer, my personal philosophy is that you should always just pick the characters you love, regardless if they're hard or easy. Just know that if your character's on the harder side of things, it might take you more time to learn the game or learn the character relative to the rest of the cast. But if you're unsure of who to play, I would recommend the characters that are easier. Especially in a team-based game like King of Fighters, I'd recommend at least having one character on your team that's on the easier side of things, right? And so the way that we do this, we'll just rank them in different categories and I'll kind of like split up into like zoners, all rounders, grapplers, that sort of thing. Cause I think there's a lot of similarities between the characters. And I think the easiest way to see the difficulty is by comparing it to other characters of the same archetype. Timestamps below, let's get started. So I start with all the zoners, right? Andy, King, Robert, Manticoon, Mai, Joe, Ash, Athena, Hydern. I think those are like the classic zoners. I know other characters have fireballs, but when I think of like a traditional zoner, that's who I think of. So let's start with Andy. But when I think of a shoulder like character, you know, someone has a DP, someone that has a fireball, Andy and Robert are like the two classic go-tos, right? And I think a shoulder character in like any game is pretty easy to play. And then you have like kind of derivations off of that, right? You have Manticoon, who's kind of like a Guile. Guile characters are generally also really easy to play. So think of Shoto, but you use charge inputs instead. Then you have characters like Ash, right? Which Ash has very similar charge input specials, but he has a little more options. He also has like an install super that lets you do crazy combos. I think if you include the install super, he would be the hardest character or one of the hardest. But let's be real, beginners don't need to use the install super, so I'm not really counting that. Um, you also have Gal like characters like Hydern. And I think Hydern is quite possibly one of the easiest characters in the game. In general, he just kind of works. Very easy to use Fireball, very easy to use DP compared to Manticoons. The other special he has is like a cross up slash that's like a scrub killer. He's just very, very good at low level. If you want to get cheap wins, I definitely recommend Hydern as one of your characters. So you also have Athena. Athena is also kind of a show delay character, but the reason I'm thinking she's a little bit below easy like compared to Robert or Andy, she just has more options, right? She has a couple different types of fireball. She has a teleport. She has dive kick. She has command grab, right? She has a lot of different options. Um, not that Andy and Robert don't, but I think she's a little harder to use because of that. Then you have like characters like Mai, which Mai is a zoner, but you don't have a DP with her. But honestly, like because her normals are so good, I think that makes her easier. I honestly, I'd probably put her up in super easy. You just kind of throw the fireball, go in and then, you know, do a mix up off that and then use your really good normals to keep them out. You also have a character like King, very strong zoner. You have two types of different fireballs. She also has a like very good move to just throw out. I think anti of trap shoe, especially non-EX is kind of hard, but again, you have very good normals to compensate. You have air and femme strike to kind of keep people out of there too. So I, I think in general, just all these characters are very straightforward game plans. Joe, traditionally, I, I'm a little confused on where to put him. Usually he's like a more difficult um, zoner. He usually has like more technical combos. I can't quite say for sure. So I'm gonna put him in the medium difficulty, but he, he looks Looks pretty, I mean, he's very just like a Shoto, right? Except you have like Jaguar Kick <laughs> and you have rapid punches and you know, you have fewer options, but just based on like historical legacy, he might be medium, but honestly, he might be like up here as well. So let's talk about the more well-rounded characters. Again, it's kind of hard to keep people in the archetype because, you know, characters like Terry are kind of Shotos, right? Terry has a fireball and a DP and like very easy to use rushdown moves, but I consider him all-rounder because, you know, it's easier to hop over his fireball. You're not really trying to zone out people with Terry generally, You're trying to go in and you're trying to rush down. I think his game plan is just super easy to execute, right? A very good DP, very good moves to punish things or to pressure the opponent. Yeah, he has to be one of the easiest characters in the game. And you see, already seems pretty strong, so <laughs> definitely deserves to be up here. Cronin, I think Cronin just seems like very, very straightforward, very basic. You know, you have like these cracked out normals, like his Stancy that, that do chip, and you just use his really good normals and do combos with the specials. <laughs> and you can also make up he has a pretty good mix up too so yeah i think he's also in the super easy category just being a general all-rounder i think some of these other general all-rounders like yuri and long i think are in the medium difficulty just because like i think well yuri 
she it's like a little more unorthodox right so you have a lot of options whether it's like command grab demon flip with multiple different follow-ups dive kick fireball doesn't go full screen but you can charge it to make it go full screen but that's really laggy in general like i think you have to have a more rushdown oriented mindset when you're playing yuri i think rushdown is like a little harder in kof compared to you know some of the more basic neutral heavy game plans same thing with long you know i think long has like really tricky crosses with the flick kick you know and she has that stance with the kick but it's a little tricky it's a little unorthodox you have to play her a little different way than you would other characters so just because like she's more unorthodox i think i'll put her here i'm actually gonna delete this real quick yeah she is kind of your all-rounder i kind of debate between easy and medium difficulty i think he has some not as straightforward moves to use like his teleport and his fireball which is like the blue hand that comes out so i'm gonna put him in medium difficulty but i could easily see the argument for easy and especially when you get to like using ex moves or just using the forward advancing punch that's just uh it's a pretty good move to throw out keo debating on easy or medium difficulty again i think rushdown character is a little harder to execute than someone that's like neutral focused um keo obviously you have that j2c and you have uh, you have pretty good mix-up options you have very good combo options you have Rekka that's you know he has multiple different follow-ups again any move that has like branching pathways i think adds a little difficulty to the character all right iori i'ma put iori is easy yeah i don't know i always think of like kyo and iori pretty similar just because they're like the protagonists of the game <laughs> but i kind of want to put iori in easy just because like, he has a fireball and i think that's like easier for new players to comprehend it's like all right you zone out until they come close to you and then you use your really good normals like standee and uh when you get in you can cross them up or command grab i think it's like very obvious to open people up very obvious game plan compared to kia where your rush down has to be a little more nuanced we got ralph uh, ralph i think um he seems quite good his pokes seem really good like if, if you just take a new player and be like all right use 5c and 5d <laughs> and uh use a couple of the specials and you yeah jump cd yeah this character is quite easy right so I, i'm debating and putting him super easy but i'll put him easy for now um leona this is gonna be a hot take but i <laughs> I think Leona is super easy. I've always thought of this character, like especially in like 13, 14, like all you do is you back off, you throw the pin and you go behind the pin and then you do your mix up. And if they jump in, you do the invincible, the charge DP. Like it seems like such a basic game plan that anyone can follow. So yeah, I'm, I'm a player in super easy. I think I think it's just very obvious game plan that's very easy to pick up. Benny Maru, uh, again, very obvious game plan, kind of jump around, do jump D uh throw out orbs to get space and when you're in you have a command grab to mix up again characters of easy obvious gameplay easy mode so dolores i'm gonna put a medium difficulty just because i think she has a lot of depth to her moves in the sense that like she has multiple different types of fireballs multiple different types of teleports command grab to mix up with ex moves are pretty valuable i think she'll also rely on like a bit of set play with the teleports as well but again not that hard of a character in the grand scheme of things so medium difficulty K dash, I'm gonna put K dash and medium as well. I mean, I think his game plan is like very Shoto like, right? But you don't have obvious ways to mix people up, and you also have like your Ein Trigger with multiple different types of follow ups, but ultimately, he's not that hard, right? Uh, Yashiro. <laughs> I think this character is super easy. This character is for babies, bro. All you do is you do 5C, cancel that into Rush Punch. Your Rush Punch is safe. And you keep doing that. If it hits, you go into Super. And uh, if they block low, you have an overhead. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That was the 10 seconds he asked you, guide kula i've always found kula to be a really easy character as well very similar game plan to yashiro stan c but instead of stan c in the rush punch you do stan c in the, the spin you have other moves that are just pretty good neutral as well you have the the snowman which maybe gives you easy oki I, I haven't really played around with it much but i think just in past games her game plan has been really really obvious stan c in the race spin and go from there all right, so let's talk about Rio. Kind of debating between medium and easy. Um, he's a rushdown character. He, you think he's like a Shoto, but his fireball is not really for zoning. It's more for rushdown or like footsie range. But his rushdown is just very basic. Like <laughs> it's just button button into big easy combo. He does have a parry, which is kind of why like I was debating to put him in the medium. But again, you just kind of throw your buttons. Your your far buttons are cancelable, so you can do good damage off them. Yeah, I, I think he's a pretty easy rushdown character. Very obvious game plan. Get close. Do damage. Ha <laughs> ha.
All right, so for Elizabeth, I'm gonna put her as medium. And the reason I'm thinking that is one, her fireball is really unintuitive to use. It kind of has to go to a specific spot on screen, unlike, you know, characters in the easy section. She has a counter, which I think counters in general, a little more difficult to use. Fireball Reflect kind of makes her game plan like more counter zone. You also have that tackle move, which you can get a combo off too. So like that part's pretty obvious, but the fact that like your fireball is not very intuitive to views and you know, just in general parry characters, I think a little harder. And like, I don't think you have the obvious of rush down as Rio. I think I'm gonna put her in medium difficulty, but I can see easy as well. Antonov, I think Antonov is pretty easy, not gonna lie. Um, so I guess we're getting to the grappler section, right? So Antonov, I think when I think of Antonov, I think of big buttons and then big jump ins and then you get close and you do like, <laughs> You either do the splash that's a hit or you do the splash that's a command grab and that will destroy a lot of new players so i think just based on that easy game plan yeah he has to go here king of dinosaurs i'm gonna put in like medium difficulty king of dinosaurs feels really really slow right i think in general just slow characters are kind of unintuitive how to use he has armor a lot of things he has armor command grab and all that um i think armor is good especially if you're a new player but i think just the, the speed and like especially like i could see new players struggling with zoning with a character like this um i'm gonna put in medium difficulty just because that, that could be a hurdle to overcome uh, for new players in King of Fighters. Blue Mary, I think I'm going to put medium difficulty as well. Again, Zoner, but she has like a lot of different moves and her moves have follow-ups. I think just the combination of moves plus follow-ups plus like she's kind of like a grappler hybrid makes the game plan again a little bit intuitive, but she does have more mobility King of Dinosaurs, but it's like the more options to choose from. I think that gets her into the medium. Uh, Shermie, I'm saying medium for Shermie as well. Again, I think grappler is a little, like, especially when I think of Shermie, I think like, all right, you got to execute your set play pretty well. I think set play in general is like pretty hard in King of Fighters because you have so many good wake up options besides like DPs, rolls, back dashes, wake up throw, etc. So that can be a little tough. Um, so I think based on that mean difficulty, but I think your tools are pretty obvious on how to use them. It's just like, I think in order to get the most out of like a grappler style character, you have to have that good, good set play. Maxima, I feel like King of Dinosaurs, but like more obvious game plan, right? You just kind of like throw out the, <laughs> throw out the punch, throw out the armor. Um, you get close, you either do the jump armor move or you just do a low or you do a command grab. I don't know, it's just the, the gameplay seems very, very obvious to me. Um, but I, I do recognize that like doing the instant overhead can be a little tricky with them. So maybe easy, maybe medium. My gut says easy, so we're gonna stick them there. I feel like you just spam armor moves and specials full screen. Uh, Clark. So Clark, I'm gonna put maybe medium as well. That's tough. It's kind of hard to distinguish between easy and medium sometimes. Clark, I mean, he has multiple different types of command grabs. It's like, I can imagine a new player being like, when do I use each one? That sort of thing. Um, but he does have like the cracked out normals, like some of the stuff that Ralph has. So it's obviously like, hey, you have mobility to get in. You have good command throws. You have decent buttons. Seems kind of obvious on how to play him to me. I'll put him in easy, but I can, I can see the argument for medium. So I think these are some of the harder characters. Um, I think Cheezer is definitely the harder, uh, one of the harder characters. She has a fireball, but again, her fireball can be really tricky to use, right? You can hit her out of her clone. She can teleport. She has like follow-ups to her fireballs. That's not like, I don't think any character we have talked about really has a follow-up that you have to use to your fireball. Clone pressure can be kind of weird. Her jump's like super floaty, um, but you do have like some easy things to carry you, such as like 5D. And so you can just kind of spam that. So I don't think she's like the hardest character in the game, but the unintuitiveness of her gameplay definitely shows. So difficult. So Isla, I'm gonna say medium, uh, could see difficult. I think just based on the sheer amount of commands she has, so think of like a Shune like character. I mean, she is the rival of Shune. So you're kind of playing that like in and out game, but you have good specials to use, but she just has a lot of specials. <laughs> so for that, I'm putting her in medium. Uh, whip. Whip, I'm not sure. I always found Whip, like just her general archetype, kind of hard to play in a King of Fighters game, at least in 14. So I'm completely basing off her 14, but she could be easier in this game. She'd be more streamlined. Her tools could be more obvious to use. But I'm gonna put her in difficult for now, um, but honestly, I'm not too sure about that one. Chris, I'm gonna put in medium difficulty as well. Yeah, he has a lot of different options on block. Some of them are pretty good, like his command run and like his dive kick, even like his DP. Like he has, he's very well-rounded, right? I also feel like you have to play and that's sort of like rush down like hit and run very fast pace and again i think like very fast paced characters like chris with a lot of options i'm gonna put him in medium ramon i think ramon's one of the hardest characters in the game again you have you basically have a stance which is like this weird command run he has and any stance character is gonna be a lot harder to play just in general i, I feel like he's quite hard um maybe someone will figure out like an easy way to <laughs> maybe maybe you could play him without the the command run and don't have to worry about that sort of thing but i think in order to get the most out of the character he he requires quite a bit of execution um vanessa vanessa's another character i guess like 
especially king of 14 gets a bad rap for being very technical um you've probably seen like the touch of death combos i feel like in vanessa in this game might not be as technical but she does have different stances anytime you have a stance character in king of fighters definitely raises the bar on difficulty so i'm a put in difficult uh kukri i think he just has a very non-standard gameplay right think of like shoto but you're using teleports and you have to do like weird mix-ups with them maybe he's he might be in like difficult i don't think he's like the hardest because he doesn't really have, really have a stance but yeah i think it just in general the gameplay is like when i played uh kukri in 14 i'm like man it seems really hard to figure out this guy's game plan and a lot of that carried over to 15. uh angel angel notorious for being one of the hardest characters in the game uh no question about that you have essentially different stances you go in and out of uh yeah very hard character rush down characters and as well in general in this game are just kind of hard to play um so yeah we'll go with hardest for her all right guys i know there's a lot of information in a really quick amount of time wanted to get this all out here and um i just a couple disclaimers one snk actually has ratings on their website um and my ratings don't necessarily agree with their ratings um who's to say who's right and wrong although they have ash crimson is tied for being the easiest character in the game so i'm not really sure how right they are <laughs> But I'm sure mine aren't right either, right? And we're going to learn more about the game comes out. I'm sure there's going to be some characters I have in like this medium difficulty range where it turns out you can just spam this one move and they're really, really strong. Yeah, that's to be expected, right? We're making this list early, but this is just my general thoughts from what I know in 14 and playing the characters in 15. Um, so I hope this helps you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if there's any characters you disagree with. Because again, I don't mind being corrected. I want to share and help the community grow and learn, right? Um, as always, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more KOF content, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.